هلا يجي نيو مسلم صعب السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام شيخ مياتك انجلش او يس اوف كورس فيري جود يا جاست وود لايك تو سي لاست تايم اي واز توكينج تو يو اباوت كيلينج اب ستيت يو جيف مي ا فيرس اوف قران ويتش اي تشيكت ات ليتر and unfortunately uh, it wasn't uh, that what you said and uh, i wanted to say i don't remember i don't remember what you're talking about okay, when okay. i said and what i said yeah so are uh, you a muslim yeah i converted to islam actually i have to say as well that uh, um, i i was born in a muslim family and at the age mm-hmm. of 25 i mm-hmm. uh, without any knowledge i decided that god doesn't exist And okay. alhamdulillah I wasn't uh, judged by uh, those who follow a fabricated hadith that says uh, kill the apostate so I could uh, you know survive and learn and convert to Islam and I do dawah alhamdulillah now okay. so that's why I believe that that uh, and the uh, Quran uh, says that no compulsion in religion and so mm-hmm. on so I believe that that uh, hadith is fabricated another thing is that I would like to know is that uh, uh, as you uh, search uh, you know even in google how many verses are in quran it comes 6236 okay but there is a hadith in uh, muslim and bukhari that says that a verse of quran is missing and ibn majah says that that verse is missing because it was eaten by a goat the verse of rajm okay so mm. what do you think because i believe those hadiths are fabricated okay and um, no verse of quran is missing and they just wanted to put this barbaric act of pagans which is stoning adulterers inside <clears throat> islam and that's why they came up with these fabricated hadiths that the verse is it has been eaten by a goat that's why it's not in quran okay because quran was sealed they couldn't uh, my argument with uh, christian and jews is that uh, the their book wasn't sealed that's why these barbaric acts were entered in their books but quran was sealed that's why it couldn't enter in quran and these people who wanted to you know keep this uh, act of pagans which is stoning adulterers they fabricated hadiths and put it in their book and okay. you know okay all right all right yeah. so um anyways whatever your understanding is i um you know i have of course a big disagreement with that because there has to be a certain rule and there is a ha- there has to be certain procedure that we have to follow in order to declare a hadith fabricated or non fabricated just because something is not according to our world view and something is not making does not is not making us happy or is not making us comfortable it doesn't mean that we just outrightly reject that so there has to be certain procedure so imagine so so suppose if you are saying that this hadith or that hadith xyz whichever hadith is fabricated you need to prove why it is fabricated okay so and, and there is that hold on hold on hold on yeah. let me complete yes and the way how you can fabricate you can prove its fabrication is that if you can pinpoint any narrator within the chain of the uh, of transmission whoever uh, lied in his life and associated that lie to the uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now his presence in the chain of transmission will make that hadith fabricated so this is the only procedure we follow just because something doesn't make sense to you i can always say that well it makes perfect sense to me and um, you're saying well it is barbaric it is this and that to me it is not barbaric to me it is it makes perfect sense so if it makes sense it means we your your understanding or your rationality should not be the yardstick should not be the standard of declare a hadith fabricated or authentic okay no. so here here we That's disagree it. here we disagree i congratulate that you accept islam you found allah once again and i will advise you to inshallah continue studying increase your knowledge and give uh, c- continue giving dawah okay. that's can all I, from my side thank you no muslim brother thank you no muslim brother thank you very much wait, wait, wait a second okay. wait a second yeah. wait a second yeah. okay. i have made two videos on this particular subject so okay. whether that goat has eaten the pages or the two ayats of the quran it's in sunan ibn majah there is one yeah, narrator in that muhammad ibn ishaq yeah that is the if or that that's the only chain of the narration where it is presented in sunan ibn majah okay. so i made two parts kya right. quran bakri i don't know whether you understand hindi or urdu or no, not no i don't know but i don't know you don't know so okay so anyways um, okay i just want to pass mental fundamental position of ourselves about the hadith so i think that's enough 
Yeah, just very fast, I want to respond that I'm I'm not against it just because it goes against my value, because it goes against Quran. No, you, you know, New Muslim, that, you don't have to you don't have to respond. What I'm saying is that you can continue practicing your understanding. Yeah. There is a whole mechanism and procedure that we need to follow. Okay, and what you're saying, it doesn't according to me, and not only according to me, according to the vast majority of Muslims historically from the beginning till today. What you're going to say, what you are saying that, oh, apostasy law contradicts uh, the Quran. It doesn't, according to the vast majority of Muslims. That's what I'm saying. Your understanding will not be the yardstick to declare a hadith fabricated. But if that is your understanding, you can continue practicing it. That's up to you. So that's yeah. all from my side. Thank you yeah, for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Brother, thank, thank you. Brother, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.